In the annals of history, certain figures emerge from the mists of time, their stories illuminating the path of human experience. One such figure is Abigail, a woman of extraordinary wisdom and courage, whose tale is woven into the fabric of ancient Israel. Her story, found in the biblical book of 1 Samuel, is a testament to the power of intelligence, diplomacy, and unwavering moral conviction. In a world often ruled by the might of men, Abigail's influence shone through, demonstrating the enduring strength of a wise and compassionate heart. I lived in a time of turmoil and uncertainty, married to Nabal, a wealthy but foolish and churlish man. Despite my husband's shortcomings, I remained a figure of grace and intellect, respected for my insight and ability to navigate complex situations. My actions not only saved lives but also revealed a profound understanding of justice and mercy, qualities that resonated far beyond my immediate circumstances. Abigail's story is not merely a historical anecdote, it holds profound relevance for us today. Her life serves as a timeless reminder of the power of wisdom, the importance of ethical leadership, and the enduring impact of a single individual who chooses to act with courage and compassion. As we delve into her story, we encounter a woman whose actions continue to inspire, reminding us that even in the face of adversity, intelligence and integrity can light the way forward. The tale of Abigail's defining moment unfolds during a time of celebration and festivity. It was the season of sheep shearing, a time of great joy and abundance in ancient Israel. The hillsides echoed with the bleeding of sheep, and the air was thick with the scent of freshly shorn wool. For Nabal, a wealthy landowner, this was a time to revel in his prosperity, hosting a lavish feast for his workers and friends. Let the festivities reach their peak. This is a time for merriment and indulgence, a stark contrast to the events that are about to unfold. A messenger arrived at Nabal's doorstep, bearing an urgent plea for assistance. The messenger was a servant of David, a young warrior who was on the run from King Saul. David and his men had been living in the wilderness, protecting Nabal's shepherds and flocks from bandits and predators. Now, facing hardship and hunger, they sought provisions from Nabal, appealing to his sense of fairness and reciprocity. David's request was simple, a share of the bounty from the sheep shearing festival, a gesture of goodwill in return for the protection his men had provided. However, Nabal, true to his churlish nature, met David's request with scorn and insults. He scoffed at the idea of sharing his wealth with a fugitive, dismissing David's plea with harsh words and a dismissive wave of his hand. Nabal's actions were not only ungenerous but also reckless, for he failed to recognize the potential consequences of his refusal. David, known for his bravery and military prowess, was deeply offended by Nabal's insolence. Enraged by the insult, he vowed to exact revenge, setting out with his men to punish Nabal and his household. News of Nabal's actions and David's impending wrath quickly reached Abigail. Recognizing the gravity of the situation she knew immediate action was necessary. Her husband's folly had ignited a firestorm and she, the voice of reason and compassion, was the only one who could prevent a catastrophe. I understood that David's anger was justified for he had been wronged and insulted, yet I also knew that violence would only beget more violence, leading to a cycle of bloodshed and suffering. With a heavy heart, I set about preparing a plan. I gathered an assortment of provisions, bread, wine, meat and cakes of figs and raisins, loading them onto donkeys. I intended to meet David and his men, hoping to appease their anger and prevent a tragic confrontation. Abigail's actions were bold and decisive, undertaken without her husband's knowledge or consent. In this moment of crisis, she emerged as the true leader, driven by a sense of responsibility and a deep understanding of the precarious situation. As Abigail set out with her servants, she carried the weight of her household's fate on her shoulders. She knew that her mission was fraught with danger, for she was venturing into the path of an enraged warrior. Yet, she pressed forward, her courage fueled by a belief in the power of diplomacy and a deep-seated sense of justice. Abigail's journey was not merely a physical one, it was a testament to her unwavering moral compass, guiding her towards a path of peace and reconciliation. Abigail, traveling with haste, soon encountered David and his men as they marched towards Nabal's estate. Abigail's eloquence and her ability to navigate the delicate situation were remarkable. She began by taking full responsibility for her husband's actions, acknowledging his foolishness and lack of discernment. 
Abigail's words were not merely flattery, they were a strategic appeal to David's ego, subtly shifting the blame away from him and onto her husband's inherent flaws. She deftly positioned David as the greater man, the one who could rise above petty insults and choose a path of wisdom and restraint. Abigail's words struck a chord within David. They were a timely reminder of his own moral compass, urging him to consider the greater good and the consequences of his actions. Abigail's plea went beyond mere words, it was a heartfelt appeal to David's sense of justice and mercy. She spoke of his future reign, envisioning a time when he would be king, his throne secured not through violence but through righteousness and divine favor. Abigail's eloquence and sincerity had a profound impact on David. He saw in her a woman of exceptional wisdom and courage, someone who understood the weight of his decisions and the consequences of his actions. Abigail's plea transcended the immediate situation. It was a call for peace and restraint, a reminder that true leadership lay in choosing a path of wisdom over the allure of vengeance. He saw in her a reflection of his own values, a belief in justice and mercy, and a deep respect for life. He realized that he had been on the verge of making a grave mistake, allowing his anger to cloud his judgment and lead him down a path of destruction. Abigail's words had awakened him from his rage, revealing a wiser, more compassionate path forward.